Yep. Chiron in retrograde. Yes. Five planets retrograde. Chiron, no, Mercury, finally goes direct. There was one day of peace, and then Chiron goes into retrograde, which is like a fucking asteroid, right? It's not even a planet, but it's considered to be, in astrology, the wounded healer. Wow. Wow. Okay, so wounded healer in retrograde. So that means karma. We're going back to insecurities, abandonment. There's been quite a few posts out there about it. Okay, but I wanted to do a video, an energy update um, on what I'm seeing from this. This, you know, a lot of us, anybody that's watching this video has healer energy in one way. Okay, we're either a light worker or an empath. There is a difference between the two. But still, empath, light worker, we're still picking up on things, right? We have this natural tendency to want to to want to fix things, okay, or to keep keep an even keel in a situation. So if you're watching this video, and I would love for all of you to comment below. Thank you for sharing, liking, subscribing, hitting the thumbs up. And your comments of what are you experiencing right now with Chiron in retrograde? It just moved in. You know, five planets retrograde. We have Mercury going out and then this ass freaking thing <laughs> coming in. It's like brutal. It's like one thing after another after another. But it's here to heal you at the fastest pace possible because we are in a massive ascension the speed of ascension is faster than ever before so why is it so bad because this stuff needs to be cleared as soon as possible and you can handle it okay i thank my ever traumatic parts of my ever traumatic childhood and life not just childhood teenage years 20s 30s i didn't i didn't get my first healings until 34 so i was just lost until then right but what the trauma what it all taught me is and because of that is i thrive in that situation and i want a lot of you or all of you to look within yourselves that you go that the shit you're going through now. Now I know what happens. We've been through enough, right? We've been through enough life. So when this stuff happens to us, the first thing is is victimization potentially, right? It's like what the fuck? Why me? Like, are you kidding me? I can't handle anymore. So we fall into this pit but what what you may not remember yet is you got this you could handle this this is this is your own stuff clearing okay this is the biggest purging we have ever experienced when you have your centeredness, when you have higher self, when you're tapped into higher self, anything can happen to you in your life and you can be experiencing it just as traumatically, just as badly as everybody else. But the difference is, is there's a mast in the keel of the boat that you're tied to, or you are the mast in the keel of the boat. So you do know you can get through it and you could handle anything. That's the difference between somebody who's awake and somebody who is not awake, is you have that insurance policy, if you will, weird 3D, you know, comparison, but you have a safety net 
you have a trust fall. Do you ever do a trust fall where people are holding their arms and you have to just do this and fall back? That's weird, right? And just trust they're going to catch you. But when you do it over and over and over again and you're caught, something comes up. What comes up is clearing all the shit. So the traumas that you are experiencing right now, the stress that you are experiencing is the fire that is burning away the karma, the abandonment, the attachments. I could go on and on. Everything that's holding us back from ascension. Remember what I said, everything must go. Now, here's the good part. Well, it's all good. <sighs> Energy update. Okay, so with my one-on-one -on -one clients and just naturally being tapped into Universal One is reaching out my spider webs, you know, if you will, into every direction and kind of feeling things out in conjunction with my one-on-one -on -one healings, what I'm experiencing, because I deal with people around the world. So I have this cool, I'm a hub for this information that only I am seeing from my view, right? So now, when you have five planets retrograde, well, first, let me say this. Astrology does not run our life. It does not. And a lot of people that focus just on astrology, you go into live a, a potentially mostly miserable life because there's always something going on in astrology. So you gotta be mindful that you're not living by, uh-oh, this, this thing's happening, so it's going to be bad. The difference is, is when you're, when you're tapped into higher self and universal oneness, you can navigate this stuff, okay? So it doesn't mean you're not affected by it, but you can navigate it. You can ice skate through it all, okay? So that being said, everything that's happening is to benefit you, believe it or not or to realign or restructure your path or to knock things off your path that are not meant to be there. So five planets retrograde, whatever, right? Here's the thing. This is my prediction and I know it to be true. We are about to be sped up more than ever before. When you are in this process of you know, what was it, six or seven planets retrograde at one time? When you have all this and you've been washed back and just held back by the waves for so long, this is what's going on in the outside world as well, okay? Look at how all the borders are locked down. You know, how, how hard it is for loved ones to get together, right? Everything we've been going on, everything that's been going on, having to wear the mask, just this repression, this everything, right? Well, what's going to happen when these planets start going direct? What we're experiencing, remember I said this, and you can message me if I'm wrong, in the days to come. What do you think is going to happen when these five planets and that douchebag asteroid go direct? start moving forward what it's going to simulate it's going to feel and be like things are moving forward faster than ever before make sense so i'm doing this energy update to help you to let to give you just a little heads up view what that this is literally the most difficult um, few weeks, few months that I had then that I have experienced in at least 15 years. And I, I mean, I'm hoping that helps somebody right there. Think of that. And I do this work for a living. The most difficult few weeks, months that I have experienced in 15 years, over 15 years. And this is all due to external 
things happening, worldly things happening, okay? But what it's pulling out is things that were wreaking havoc in our lives since we were children. The world is not doing this to attack you, to offend you. It's doing this to stimulate you. So we're clearing, but we're also being made to be very uncomfortable because humans are kind of lazy. They're kind of like walruses, you know, <laughs> right? We have to be like made uncomfortable in order to move. The pain is the resistance to change. If you didn't resist change at all, the pain would, would just come and, and leave. It wouldn't, it wouldn't stick and get stuck. Okay, I hope I'm talking to somebody right here. I don't want to keep, I don't want to do these videos too long. Um, so I, I hope that helped. Okay, yes, we're going through the hardest time we've ever experienced before. But we're, we're going through the birth canal. And if you've, if you've ever seen a baby being born, oh, it's so beautiful. Okay. All right, it's pretty freaking traumatic because, you know, the physicality of it all and that baby that's being born, birth is not birth as you know it, birth is death because that baby, that soul came from home, left its soul family, left light to come here. So that's what we're experiencing. I keep, you know, um, I had a vision of a crow today. And I've seen a couple crows today. And they signify, if that's even the right word, I'm tired, a um, lot of clients. Um, birth, death, death, birth, rebirth, okay? The crow's right in the middle. So it's not a creepy thing, it's kind of a beautiful thing, right? That's what we're going through. Okay? Love to all of you. More to come when I have the energy. I, I, if it was up to me, I'd put out videos every day. Um, I'm, I'm trying to post in my group every day. If you don't see me, that's because I am busy, all right? I'm taking care of things. I'm taking care of myself. Um, but blessings to all of you, and I hope all of you are taking care of yourself through this very delicate yet powerful time. So let it be done, and so it is done.